My dear students, this is Mama Senho. Welcome to our first lesson in Science 7 about scientific investigation. Get your science notebook and take down the important points. But before that, let's have a motivation. So that was the scientific method song. Now let's proceed to the discussion part. What is the scientific method? It is a process for experimentation that is used to explore observations and answer questions. So we have the steps of the scientific method. Even though we show the scientific method as a series of steps, keep in mind that new information or thinking might cause the scientists to back up and repeat steps at any point during the process. First step of the scientific method, ask a question. The scientific method starts when you ask a question about something that you observe. How, what, when, who, which, why, or where. The second step of the scientific method is do background research. Rather than starting from scratch and putting together a plan for answering your question, you want to be a savvy scientist using library and internet research to help you find the best way to do things and ensure that you don't repeat mistakes from the past. The third step of the scientific method is construct a hypothesis. A hypothesis is an educated guess about how things work. It is an attempt to answer your question with an explanation that can be tested. A good hypothesis allows you to then make a prediction. Create both your hypothesis and the resulting prediction you will be testing. Predictions must be easy to measure. Fourth step of the scientific method is test your hypothesis by doing an experiment. Your experiment tests whether your prediction is accurate and thus your hypothesis is supported or not. It is important for your experiment to be a fair test. You conduct a fair test by making sure that you change only one factor at a time while keeping all other conditions the same. You should also repeat your experiment several times to make sure that the first results were not just an accident. The fifth step of the scientific method is analyze your data and draw a conclusion. Once your experiment is complete, you collect your measurements and analyze them to see if they support your hypothesis or not. Scientists often find that their predictions were not accurate and their hypothesis was not supported, and in such cases, they will communicate the results of their experiments and then go back and construct a new hypothesis and prediction based on the information they learned during their experiment. This starts much of the process of the scientific method over again. Even if they find that their hypothesis was supported, they may want to test it again in a new way. The sixth step of the scientific method is communicate your results. To complete your science fair project, you will communicate your results to others in a final report and or a display board. Professional scientists do almost exactly the same thing by publishing their final report in a scientific journal or by presenting the results on a poster or during a talk at a scientific meeting. In a science fair, judges are interested in your findings regardless of whether or not they support your original hypothesis. So that's the six steps of the scientific method. Other books mention eight steps, so don't you worry, they are of the same um, idea. Now let's proceed to the important terms that you also need to learn. So it's important to remember that an observation is directly something that you see, taste, touch, hear, or smell. It is your five senses. Now, for an inference, is when you use prior knowledge to draw conclusions. A prediction is like uh, making a statement about something that will occur. A hypothesis is an explanation that you can test. So there's three different types of variables that we need to be aware of. We have independent variables, dependent variables, as well as controlled or constants as variables. So, an in independent variable is going to be what you will change in an experiment. Now my dependent variable is what I observe or what I measure. And then my controlled or my constants um, are the factors I keep the same. So those are the important terms that you also need to learn in this topic, like observations versus inferences, prediction versus hypothesis. Then we have independent variable, dependent variable, and control variable.